Do you have difficulties getting along with the shape of your body? Do you think that being a small and tiny is the most important feature of a real woman? Do you feel like you're less than a real woman by not having an average female bone structure? If so, then you're in the right place because in this video, I'm gonna explain to you that most of the ideas you have about a real woman body are not logical. I'm gonna help you replace them with more positive logical thoughts. Hi, I'm Laura Lepore and I'm earning my master's degree in clinical psychology and my goal is to help you remove the negative thoughts in your head and enjoy your life again. Now, first let's start with the definition of a real woman. How do you define a real woman? Do you think a real woman should look like this or this? Well, let's see what Google Dictionary says about a real woman. I love Google. A quick search says, an adult female, hmm? nothing about body shape, a female member of a workforce, team, and etc. Oh, no body shape again. Female person associated with a particular place, activity, or occupation. No body shape. You find it nowhere when you're searching about the definition of a woman because women are much more than the shape of their bodies. And also, a real, natural woman could be this, she could be this, she could be this. All human. Do not judge people by their appearance, by the size of their body, by their bone structure. Sometimes we are so judgmental towards others, and so we judge ourselves as well. No, no, it doesn't work like that. You are more than your bone structure. Have you heard anything about shoulder pads? Well, they are replaced under the shoulder part of the clothes in order to make the shoulders look wider. Why some women wear clothes with shoulder pads? Think about it. They wear it because they want to have broad shoulders like you. Your wide shoulder is actually attractive. Why they wear high heels? Because they want to be as tall as you. High heels are beautiful, I myself love them, but they are very uncomfortable. But this woman is still tolerate this discomfort to be tall, to be like you. Have you ever thought about it like that? Changes everything, doesn't it? But let me also clarify that short ladies are also beautiful. It has nothing to do with what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is that your idea about tall ladies are unattractive is not true considering these trends in fashion and it's not going to be black and white saying like okay now that we learned that tall women are beautiful so that means that shorter ones are unattractive anyone has their own beauties short women have their own beauties tall women have their own beauties even average women have their own beauties and now i want you to change the way you talk to yourself i want you to talk to yourself just the way, like, this is the key point that we've been talking about all the time. I want you to talk to yourself just the way you talk to your best friend. Be your own best friend. How do you talk to your best friend? The person you love and care about. You talk to them with love, support, and compassion. So we'll keep it till here for this episode because I don't want to make it too long. We'll talk more in depth about this topic on part 2 so make sure you subscribe so you can watch part 2 as soon as it is being uploaded. And that said, you've done a great job. Hope you found this video helpful. If so, like it so that you can help me grow my channel and spread my message. And if you have a friend who you think would also benefit from this video, make sure to share it so that they can learn. And uh, yeah, comment down below for me. I would love to communicate with you. Until next video, take care and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.